Welcome back guys, welcome back. Look at this beauty, look at this beauty. Yes, we are back at BHP headquarters in the workshop. RS7, nice Porsche. Bikes are all around the corner. Well, not 899 down there as well. So, we're back here today to do some more filming on this. A handheld device. So this is a flasher device that you guys can use on any bike. Obviously, for us, it's Ducatis and Hypers. And I am going to go through a tutorial today to do when you get this shipped in the post, what to do on a laptop and then what to do on the bike stick with us and we'll go through it so what do you get in the box so i've unpacked it you get the actual flasher device a connector on the front and a connector on the top bhp uh, for my model i have got a euro 5 plug that's the connector for my specific bike you will need to tell them what year and model bike you've got and they will send the appropriate cable usb that connects to your laptop and to the device some instructions about what to download and how to do the work some warranty stuff let's go through the instructions first on the laptop because that's probably the first thing you need to do so the work that needs to be done on the laptop is you need a windows laptop go to this url which i've done and then it downloads a file it's about 80 gig 80 meg sorry it's not that big um and then we need to run the client setup so just double click the file like you normally do click yes to accept <laughs> Right, we've done number one, we've done number two. Now it's number three, connect the MyGenius device using the USB to the laptop and then see what it says. USB is in, let's plug this thing in. Lights come on, I heard a little noise and a beep on the laptop. It then says you gotta launch MyGenius software. Right, I think now that everything is updated, we can now detach this and get ready to plug that in and then take a read from the bike, I guess. So uh, that'll be the next step. So seats off, obviously that's my Euro 5 plug. Obviously that's my battery test, three lights. If you use one of these pulsing chargers, it's not ideal because it has the voltage goes up and down, up and down, it's not real. What they do say is probably get something with a constant supply or take the bike for a blast up and down the motor engine to make sure the battery's fully charged and that should be enough for you. So let's connect that up. Right, select ID, let your blah, 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 switch it on again. Wait for this bad boy to turn up. Select OK. Operation in progress. Switch off the dashboard to continue. Done that. Task complete successfully. Fucking hell, that was quick. Right, we're back to the main menu, work. So we can disconnect now and do the next phase. Get it back to the laptop. Right, we're back at the office. Laptop's on. So now I'm gonna plug this in. Lights come on. Launch the genius. Initializing communication. Hey, look, all the buttons are open now. Let's download. Let's get the map of this into, onto the laptop. The download. Connect your My Genius. Yes. Yes. Destination folder documents. Why do you like the download folder? Okay. And confirm. USB comms activated. This is spinning and doing its stuff. Procedure complete successfully. Flipping out. That was quick. Close. And there's the file. Happy days. So. All we've got to do now is launch up uh, Outlook or Hotmail and send that to bhp.uk. Once the file's on your laptop, all you need to do is send it. You can use any 
email tool of your choice. Send the file as it is, don't zip it, don't rename it, just send the FPF file. Make sure you put your bike, the reg, the model, the bike, the year, and more importantly, all the modifications that you've got on the bike to do with power plugs, that kind of stuff. So exhaust, air filters, decats, any EGR, EVAP deletes, servo deletes, AIS pair valve deletes, just add it all on and then just send the file and it should go to BHP UK. So just like that, got a reply back with a, a mod file and uh, some instructions that please ensure the bike battery is full. If your bike is like to be updated by the official dealer, then it's easier if you reinstall the original before it does. This will save you money if the dealer does update your bike and you will only pay for the updated file and not the reset fee for your flasher. So let's get this saved and up to the device. So I've copied the modifier file to the downloads folder. I'm just gonna launch that My Genius again, the software, and then wait for it to connect and initialize. There you go, it's initializing. And then I think I just hit this upload button. Upload. Next, select the file, click on the three dots, go to download and click the file that you want to upload. Open to some verifications on the file, the file headers, I guess. There's the file and you just hit next, blah, blah, blah. Wow, look at that Van Diemen sprint. We've got some labels on it, that's cool. And then bang, upload it to that, job done. See how that works out. Right, close it and job done. Plugged it in. Nice and easy, check the battery, three lights. Right, so we go to work, writing, there you go. Mod file, it's picked up the mod file. It actually says Van Diemen and Sprint. And you actually click OK. Please connect your vehicle to stabilize battery. Yes, thank you very much, done that. Switch on the dash, <coughs> click OK. Operation in progress. Switch off the dashboard to continue. Please connect your vehicle to stabilize battery. OK, yes it is. Switch on the dashboard again, and hit OK. Wow, look at that. Now you know it's doing something, because the dash has gone bananas. So literally just gotta wait. There you go, gonna be sending this file now. Got mod, so it's just finished. And then it says run the errors, run the errors deletion. Okay, switch off the dashboard to continue. Everything's back to normal yet. Please connect your vehicle to battery yet. Switch on the dashboard, continue again. While the ice cream man comes. Click okay. Switch off the dashboard, blimey. Writing ECU completed, okay. Analyzing log. Saving, and we're done, that's it. Once it gets back to this menu, we are done, boys and girls. So, let's get the seat and everything back on, and let's try and start the bad boy. Right, let's get it going, boy. Let's see if the thing starts. No matter of truth. Hey! Look at that. Works, man. We all good. Got a bike, not bad. BHP, sorting it out. Guys, that's how easy it is. Stop messing around with your T800s and your maps and all that rubbish. Look at that system. Email support, telephone support, ship around the world, worldwide, no problem. I mean, look, look at all the bikes that they've got. Look at all the development that they've got on. Cars, bikes, Porsches, Pikes, KTM, everything, man. Stop messing about and start doing it properly, all right? Go to these boys. All right, thanks very much. Over and out.